All right, folks. Thank you guys so much for all the listening and the watching that you've been doing. It's Dave back here with another California Country Show Quarantine. And I'm here with a friend of the show. He's been on a few times. And, of course, I play his music. If you listen to the show religiously, like I know you do, it's Jason Charles Miller. What's up, man? Hey, I'm coming to you from my uh, secret bunker in an undisclosed location. <laughs> You're a total doomsday prepper right now. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. like a log cabin, right? Exactly. Somewhere <laughs> you don't even know where I am, man. <laughs> But the internet, man, the internet finds me in it. That's right. good, though. Dude. No, seriously, though, I, I appreciate you joining me. I know um, you've been a busy guy. Tell me about your experiences since we've been locked down. A lot of your business and your what you're doing, actually, a lot of your business and what we were doing was already online. Now you're just kind of going a little further and uh, and staying indoors. Yes, uh, certainly. Um you know, I run a recording studio uh, for, and a lot of our, a lot of our business is voiceover. Um, and then, as a voiceover artist myself, um, I can still continue to do some of that on my own. But like, we're closed for customers, we're closed for clients, um, mm. and all the music stuff that we do here. Of course, we can't really record any of that. Um, but as far as what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm trying to keep as active as possible. You know, the first few days, I saw it coming. I knew it was going to come. And then when I saw that they had the shelter in place in San Francisco, I knew it was only a matter of time they were going to do it in L.A. Right. So my my mind was like, okay, well, what are you going to do, Jason? Because you've got to, you know, it's very easy to sort of get trapped in a kind of depressing area you know your, your brain sort of just just kind of freaks out yeah um, so, so i've done a couple things what what the main thing i'm doing is miller's music mondays live um a few years ago i used to do a show on youtube called miller's music mondays and every monday i would post a new song i'm con i've brought that back but now i've added to it that every monday night i'm doing a live free concert online from nice. seven to eight um, on a new platform called Caffeine TV. It's caffeine.tv. And then my channel is JCM. So it's caffeine.tv slash JCM. Uh, caffeine is similar to Twitch um, in the kind of um, sort of live programming all the time kind of thing. And I, I like that platform specifically because you can broadcast right from your browser. You don't need a lot of extra stuff. So it's okay. really musician cool. friendly. Um, and, uh, it's always free. You don't need, even need an account to watch anyone. So it's like as, as easy as possible for people. And when do you do this show that you're talking about? Cause this is actually very cool. The, the, the one-on-one -on -one with Jason Charles Miller. I mean, dude. Yeah. On Monday night, show. every Monday night at 7 right. PM Pacific. And, and you I got a lot, for at least an hour. Because you have a lot of lot of songs, you got a lot of records out, a lot of stuff like that. What kind of stuff do you do in your show? Well, I do um, I do covers that I love. I do songs from my old band Godhead. There's still a lot of Godhead fans out there, so they're like, yeah. "Play this, play that." I'm like, "Oh yeah, totally, I will." I think the cool. last show I did four Godhead songs. Obviously, I do songs from my solo material too, um, and just keep it fresh and. Also, it's live only, so I don't post these shows anywhere. I want it to feel like you're going to a real show. So right. if you were there, you heard it, and if you didn't hear it, try me next week. Yeah, we'll see you next week. And, yeah. of course, you could always get your camera phone out and, you know, uh, sure. videotape you a yeah. bit. That's great. Now, the last time we talked, you were supposed to be going on a, on a European tour. So how has this affected your um, – just kind of your plans? Is there – Oh, yeah, they're out the window, man. Like, I think tonight, <laughs> I think I'm supposed to be playing London on uh, my Sunday night. Tomorrow okay. night. That's I'll be not, in London tomorrow night. No, you will no, not. I won't. You will not. Yeah. Uh, I'm supposed to be on my UK tour right now. With oh, Bob my God. And, uh, I've been and so this all happened like right up to the like you're, you're oh, literally deciding yeah. like the moment you're about to leave. Like, dude, I can't I can't leave. Yeah. No. Um. I mean, luckily, the promoters kind of canceled it for us mm. but um bob my friend bob wayne who i was going to be opening up for he was already in europe so oh, he had wow. that whole other wrinkle of like trying to get out before uh 
some of the countries that he was in were on lockdown and he couldn't get out. He was he got one of the last flights out of Germany. Luckily. Oh, wow. And now he's self quarantining here in L.A. But yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, a, a really crazy time for a lot of us. Another really good friend of mine. He's an actor named Jake Stormowen, and he's the star of a show um, on the CW called The Outpost. Well, The Outpost is kind of like Game of Thrones, very medieval. Like, right, yeah. You know, uh, they film in Serbia. He got oh. the last plane out of Serbia before uh, before lockdown there, too. So it's interesting talking to some of my friends and um, you know all of my touring friends who who – live only on touring you know they're they're freaking out right now and i totally get that you know now what do you say to folks i mean clearly this is in my opinion this is a way to kind of calm down a bit and start saying like what did i do um that i didn't do before that i can do now because i have some time right uh, what have you what have you found that seems to be the best way to either reach out to fans or keep in contact or how do you calm someone down that just their entire life has just sort of been like, I, I, I don't I don't know what to do musically anymore. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's it's that's a tough question. What I've done for myself is kind of set a schedule as much as I can. Um, I've had a couple of co-writes uh, over Skype, which is nice. So and, you know, you put it in the calendar and you keep to it. And that certainly kind of makes things feel a little bit normal. Of course, we put this in the calendar twice, and this is the third time. Yeah, so I'm I, sorry well, about that. One no, of the times, I mean, like, yeah, it's, you know, at we, the same get, time, though, I mean, you know, the world's not going to end if we don't get together. Um, wait a second. It might. I, I'm not sure yet, yeah. um, but yeah. <laughs> the bets are off at this point. But, but yeah, no, I think like um, sort of trying to schedule your day as best you can uh, is certainly – helpful and bring some normalcy back into it. I mean, but now, like, for example, in LA, we've been told by the mayor, hey, you got to wear a mask when you go outside. So now right. you should see me. I, I'm going to post a picture. When I walk my dogs now, I feel like I look like a downloadable Mortal Kombat character because I've got a black mask on and then I've got a bandana on here. You know, <laughs> uh, when I go to the grocery store, I've got that plus goggles. Dude, uh, yeah, gloves, you could be my avatar. You know, yeah, I'm ready. I'm. But, that's good. Yeah, some things are in short supply. We, I mean, plenty. As a as a country singer, I got plenty of handkerchiefs, and I got plenty of that going on. I'm trying to devise how that works. And so your beard is. Uh, how does that work with your your beard? I mean, I'm having trouble with my beard. Your beard's. Yeah. Gotta gotta be well, a thing. What I do is I stick it in. So I stick it in here. Okay. So then I've got the the mask. And it's not a, it's not an N95 mask, by the way. It's it's like one of the more medical, uh, n the non-medical ones. You know? Right. Yeah. So I've got that. Then I've got the bandana here, so this is fully enclosed. Cool. So that's the best I can do. You know? Yeah, because where you live, I mean, you know, we've got a, I mean, from the studio to your home, that's probably the only trips you're making beyond going. That is to the, the store, only but... trip, and I'm always by myself at the studio as well. So um, I do wear a mask anywhere I go but I don't fully gear up unless I'm going to the grocery store. But I mean, that is it. It's, it's the studio by myself mm -hmm. the house, uh, with me and my wife and uh, the grocery store and walking the dogs, but that's my neighborhood and right there. You know? Yeah. We're, we're doing the same thing. Even, even walking the dog, you know, that's the hard part about this whole time is that we don't really know the protocol. I mean, we're we're learning and we're adapting. And um, although as a guy that frequently had hand sanitizer with me because I play harmonica, I'd shake someone's hand and then I'd put it right to my mouth. I used to get sick all the time. So this is a whole new world uh, for a lot training. of people. That was training for you. That was that was training. That was definitely training. Um, looking forward, are you um, what are you most looking forward to? Boy, um, you know, I'm certainly most looking forward to. um life the way we're sort of used to living, although I'm sure that's going to change to a certain it extent. May. It may. I, you know what? I'm looking for my I'm looking forward to jamming with you on stage at jam night, baby. That's, that's what I'm right. That's the funny thing, you know. I, I said, hey, would you like to come and do one of these California country show jams? And you're like, dude, I'm gonna be in Europe. And I remember you got that text from me. I'm like, 
Are you still going to be there? Because we might still have it. I don't know yet. And then boom, gone. Everything, Everything uh, all gone. all gigs stripe, stripped. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So yeah. let me ask you something because I, I know that you've got um, you've got new music coming out, or at least you're working on stuff. Uh, what are you going to be doing in the next few months that's going to, um, in my in my mind, um, just keep this process going, even if you're stuck just by yourself? Just writing, you know. Um... I was fortunate enough that I, I recorded the first half of my new album right oh, before okay. this. So I've got five songs in the can, fully produced. Um, Matt Hyde produced and mixed. Kenny Aronoff on drums. Like brought in the Hall Brothers to play on some tracks. I mean, we've got some like you know, you know, the, the best guys on the tracks. So that's kind of in the can. And then I'll just be writing the second half of the album while we're on lockdown, in between. Um, I, one of the other things that we didn't mention is, and I know, you know, you and I are both, uh, are both nerds for yes. sure. Let's admit that. Hell and, yeah. um, you know, I often stream Dungeons and Dragons games and now rather than all of us in the same room, we're all in different rooms. But, um, just today I did a charity, uh, Dungeons and Dragons game with like Joe Manganiello and, oh, and Deborah cool. Ann Wall for, um, Tree, the Treehouse for Kids Foundation, and um, I also just did something for the U.S. Navy, which is I was really honored to. Uh, I just did a streaming concert for the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Navy Exchange that broadcast to all the bases all over the world. Oh, yeah. Everyone on their everyone's on lockdown, lockdown on their bases. They can't right. leave. Um, the families, the, of course, the sailors, but also the families and everyone else. Uh, um, involved in that. So uh, it was good to bring them a little bit of, of uh, entertainment from the outside. From the outside world, yeah. 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 Wow, that's awesome, man. And and you do it right from there, I guess, right? Right from here, yeah. Yeah. Killer. Yeah. I'm trying to concentrate. I, like, there's like these Zoom backgrounds that you can do. I mean, this is Skype, so there's not a lot going on uh, for Skype. But I know that, like, you can, like... Um, what can I do here? My appearance. I can. Um... Well, the Zoom backgrounds are great because you can put anything behind you. A friend of mine put a Wheaties box behind him. So it looks like he's on the Wheaties box. on the Wheaties box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's great. No, um, I'm I'm going to either get like the Star Trek bridge behind me, um, you know, or Dagobah would be a good background. Um, or maybe Chewie getting his medal. <laughs> oh, Which, so you're just all standing there? Yeah, yeah. that's that's but, genius. That's brilliant. We need to talk about that sometime. We need to. We need there there. But that would be like a 45 minute episode of you and yeah. I just dissecting the rise of Skywalker. But that's oh, that's some, that's something gosh. totally on another day. Ah oh, man. We should we maybe make a bonus about this. episode, though. That might be all right. Well, maybe maybe we'll do this. Well, I I thank you, Jason Charles Miller, for joining me. And of course, we'll we'll go we'll go we'll do the aftertime show, folks. After this, this won't be on the radio show, but it'll it'll be the uh, the Dave and Jason nerd out because we've already know that we now we have Skype together, so we're we're gonna be just fine and uh, can record this whole thing. Where can we find you online so we can it, see the second part of this episode? If you just know my name, which is Jason Charles Miller, uh, just type that into your Google search, and you'll find my you'll find all my social media and my website, and it's all linked from there and. Nice. I'm, con I'm I'm posting every day. I'm updating stuff every single day. And uh, lately, uh, due to lockdown, you'll get to see lots more pictures of my pit bulls than maybe you're used to. <laughs> but uh, right. I, I try hard to uh, put creative shots up there. Nice. And Miller Music Monday. So make sure next Monday rolls around. You guys check that out. You find him. There'll be a link on your website, I'm sure. And of course, exactly. there'll be one below here as well. Thank you, Jason Charles Miller. Appreciate you joining me, man. Be you safe out there. Thank Be you. safe in there. Yeah.